let's look at uh, the career path for data engineers. What is the technical skills required? Four or five years back, you would have hardly heard about data engineer. But four or five years back or even for more than a decade or so, those who are in IT field would have always heard about uh, database administrators. Database administrators was very common term. So everything was structured. I mean, data residing in the database is structured. So that's where they need to manage the database. And the job of the database administrator is to manage the database. They need to provision the database, uh, do appropriate patching for the database, ensure that the database is available 24 bar 7, or you need to, when there is a patching needs to be applied, then you need to have a kind of a downtime and apply the patch. But slowly, the database administration all got automated. You now have autonomous database. Oracle is a pioneer of that and they had provided autonomous database. So anyone can provision the autonomous database, particularly on the cloud environment. You have uh, the process of auto tuning, uh, process of auto scaling, meaning whenever the CPU is required or whenever resources are required, like storage, it gets uh, automatically added up and then it gets tuned as well. So, uh, I mean, slowly, uh, you the database administrator role, which was more on the on-premises side, is getting re reduced because everything is moving into the cloud. But having said that, these days, the data is not just residing on the structured database alone. It resides in multiple places in your website or something um, which triggers, uh, even triggering something, that information needs to be um, uh, information needs to be sent across to various sources to trigger other um, other work. For example, in IoT, if you look at it, uh, you might have based on your location uh, where you are in a car. Uh, if you are nearing your residence, then your uh, heating system of the home should get automatically switched on. So those are the kind of a data handshake which happen needs to happen. So those things are done through the data engineers. So through the evolution process of Evolution, but no more. Um, it is database administrators are just. Uh, uh, if you look, they may call uh, system administrators. Uh, maybe it is just for a specific standalone system. So now, you, uh, I mean, it's a kind of a complex job where it involves everything, bit of everything. The database administrator, system um, administrators, and then how to get the data. That was the earlier the job of through e process of ETL. That is extract, transform. Um, extract transform you load the data and those is now all got into a single source and the person or the resource who does that or a consultant who does that is data engineers so i mean if you look at uh, the career path it's more of a starting level so it's more of a starting level if you have a good background in uh, your uh, technical skills then it could be some kind of an entry level um, or maybe a few years of experience is what one could look at because you need to extract the data from various sources and you need to, um, I mean, transport it to a location, uh, maybe to a storage or to a virtual machine or to further processing. This image will give you more information. So it's uh, at the entry level, you do the uh, data engineering, uh, maybe three, four years, you do that. So it's all about how the data is sourced through various means, cleansed and processed for further actions. And then as you progress, pick up more technical skills, more functional knowledge or business knowledge, you become a data analysis analyst, data architect, or data scientist as well, or machine learning uh, specialist, or you, you can even progress as a chief data officer. So the career path is like this. So starting with data engineering, you progress on to data analyst, data architect, data scientist, and the chief data officer. So how do you, uh, what is the technical skills you require to start off with data engineering? So the skills required are you need to be good in coding, that is, uh, uh, SQL, NoSQL, particularly Python or probably little extent of Java as well, that will Java scripting, those things will help you. No doubt you need to be proficient on the coding language, that is very important. Number two is that you need to be skilled on the relational database, RDBMS, that's of course the SQL part, the non-relational database, particularly if you're going to involve big data, or you want to involve, interact with the, the website um, where um, an event in the website could trigger something. So uh, appropriately the scripting or extraction needs to happen. So you need to have skills on relational and non-relational uh, databases as well. And ETLs, earlier with the structured database, you would have used the process of extract, transform, and load. 
but these days it's all called data pipeline you need to have uh, dependencies against each of the do jobs dip different jobs and that's where um, data pipeline uh, comes across so etl has evolved uh, to an extent into data pipelines and more importantly on cloud infrastructure components so maybe in less than a decade there is uh, the cloud infrastructure has really grown across amazon aws then azure for microsoft then google cloud as well as the oracle cloud so virtual machines database storage tools and integration how integration happens between various uh, on premises or cloud you need to be skillful on that so this is a kind of a mix so you need to be skilled uh, just not in um, just python java earlier days about 5 10 years back you are skilled in java that's more than enough but these days it is not so you need to have multi skilled um, yeah cloud is of course one of them and data pipeline is one of them python and the relational database so i think this will give you an idea if you're looking for a career in data engineer it's a good field to start off if you have a technical background it's a good field and then you can look to progress further um, or aspire to further to grow as a data analyst or a data scientist thank you